University Arts London level four professional diplomas uh, that we offer here are professional diplomas. So they are meant to be a lead in straight into the industry or they can act as an access to higher education and onto university. One of the first discipline is uh, music production, which can cover anything from radio broadcasting to um, mixing and mastering, um, organic recording production, uh, music for gaming, etc., etc. The list goes on. But the great thing about it is that we can take the student's main interest and drive and we can specialise the course in exactly the field and direction that they want to go in. Um, therefore, they're not going to be studying anything that is irrelevant to them um, and there's no box ticking. So it's really, really um, a, a place where they can act as a professional, start trading. So by the time they finish the course, um, they're actually in that zone already so um, or they might think I need a bit more and then they can go into some universities some bachelors uh, bachelor of sciences in the second year um, and just do years two and three to get their full degree as the UAL level four can act as the first year of the degree program with some universities so the UAL level four professional diploma in music performance is what the student wants it to be. Uh, the student will become a professional performer, um, they will act as a professional, learn and direct themselves, student-led learning. They can cover everything from performance skills to th music theory to performance techniques. Um, to management of themselves and working in the music industry with agencies such as the PRS and the MCPS. Um, the uh, outcome of the course is that you end up with a one year professional diploma. Uh, you can go on to uh, years, two, straight into year two, a university, some universities, um, because the diploma itself has acted as the first year of um, that degree program. So the music facilities that we have here on the South Downs campus are really superb, industry standard. We have a uh, commercial uh, studio A set up here, which I'm talking to you from. We've got a second studio B. Um, we have a podcast room, um, a hot room, where, which is a mix room that students can bring their own laptops into. We have various vocal booths, practice rooms, drum recording rooms. We have five different rehearsal rooms, um, which feature full backline, bass amp, guitar amps, um, and drums and keyboards. Um, we have two performance spaces. We have the recital hall for smaller performances and acoustic performances. And we also have the main theater, which is a 300 capacity uh, commercial venue. Um, all of these locations are connected to our studios so that we have a real connectivity between those spaces. We have six Apple Mac suites um, for full audio production, and that's all for working with music in the box. Um, they feature software such as uh, Logic Pro and Ableton. Um, the students also can receive big discounts on SE electronic microphone equipment, on native instrument software, to name a few. Alumni, so where do students go after completing their professional diploma? Uh, some go on to universities. We have uh, very close re working relationships with Solent University in Southampton, the University of Portsmouth, and Brighton Metropolitan, sorry, Greater Brighton Metropolitan College um, for their uh, top ups. Um, but that's not to say you can't go on to other universities um, that we also have relationship, special relationships with. Um, other students have gone straight into the industry. Um, we have the drum tech for the Stranglers, who actually ends up playing half the gigs anyway. Um, we've got the drum tech for uh, Stevie Wonder. 
um, over in the US. We have um, Radio 1 broadcasters. We've got two of them, two students who are ex-Radio 1 broadcasters. We've got um, another student a couple of years ago who's running one of the country's leading um, worldwide events management companies. The two main partners of Victorious Festival are both alumni, ex-students of ours. Um, also smaller local businesses like the owner of uh, South Seas Pie and Vinyl, um, ex-alumni um, here as well. So there's some really great success stories about people going into music business, music management, music performance and music production and broadcasting. It's a very, very wide um, scope. Um, that, but that's again because the nature of the level four to professional diploma is you can focus on exactly what you want to do. How much is it going to cost? Well, if you're under 19 at the start of the course, it's free. So think of it this way, the first year of your degree is free, it's not £10,000. On the Level 4 Professional Diploma, um, you can pull on the resources of all of the music lecturers. All of the music lecturers are fully qualified, but working actively in the music industry. So you've got studio owners, you've got production managers, you've got uh, touring engineers, professional musicians. So you're being taught techniques, the very latest techniques, from very high, highly qualified industry professionals. One of the things that uh, we really pride ourselves on with the Level 4 um, music performance and music production courses are bringing in guest speakers to talk about their experiences. Sometimes they're alumni, ex-students, so it's a really inspiring thing, like the lads that own Victorious. But sometimes they're just independent uh, people that we know through the music industry. Last year we had uh, Jason Cooper, um, drummer from uh, the, the Cure, um, and we had Andy Sheps, a producer for uh, Adele and Red Hot Chili Peppers, to name a, a few. This year, we're hoping to get in Steve Pitt, tour manager and general music industry guru. And uh, from TV5 in France for broadcast sound, we're getting in a guy, a, a guy called Teo Safati, who's a really renowned um, audio recording engineer for television in France. Mm -hmm.